new discoveries are waiting out there. What new adventures can we see? What are the answers to the never-ending questions in your brain that's in a race to find the reason or the place from deep on words to outer space so that the truth of any case can be unfurled in the real world? Science in the real world. Hi, I'm Kirsten. Welcome to Real World Science. Ever wonder why geese tend to fly in a triangular pattern? Or how chameleons know to camouflage themselves when a predator comes? Why do animals act the way they do? Let's find out. Types of behavior. Much like humans, animals are either born with or learn certain behaviors that allow for their survival. They learn how to store food, escape from predators, and take care of themselves in their environment. Today, we are all going to become ethologists, or people who study animal behavior. Ever wonder why babies cry so much? because they are unable to actually say, hey, I'm hungry, or I'm really tired, put me in bed. Babies cry to get their parents' attention. This is a type of behavior. Behavior is the way an organism responds to its environment. An animal's survival depends upon its behavior. There are two kinds of behavior, innate and learned. Innate behavior is behavior that an organism is born with and does not have to be learned. For example, baby monkeys grasp things with their hands and feet without being taught. Animals that cannot breathe underwater will not attempt to breathe when placed underwater. These animals were never told that they will be unable to breathe when submerged in water. It is innate. Another example is blinking. If someone blows into a baby animal or human's eyes, they will close them. They are not taught to close their eyes to keep them from drying out. This is innate as well. These innate behaviors are genetic and are coded in an animal's DNA. They are passed down from generation to generation and are helpful in the survival of a species. Innate Behaviors There are two types of innate behaviors, reflexes and instincts. Reflex is a simple innate behavior that is an automatic response and does not involve a message to the brain. Do you remember who taught you how to blink or how to yawn? You can't because these behaviors are all reflexes. We were all born with the involuntary response to blink. Another example is the fact that if you touch a hot surface, your reflex is to pull your hand quickly away. A sensory receptor sends a signal to the spinal cord through a path called the reflex arc and you quickly respond pulling your hand away from the heat. Animals are born with reflexes as well. When an animal hears a loud noise or detects the scent of a predator, they have a response to flee. This is an example of a reflex. They do not involve signals to the brain. Instead, the animal knows to run. Now, instincts are more complex innate behaviors. Instinct is a complex pattern of innate behavior that can take weeks to complete. For example, a spider is born with the ability to spin a web. However, this is an instinct, not a reflex, because it is a more complex pattern of behavior. Using instinct, many different species of birds migrate from those places where they breed and raise their young to other habitats where they spend the winter. Migrating birds use innate behavior to know when to begin migration and the route that they should follow. Using innate behavior, the rattlesnake will rattle its tail as a warning. 
If tail rattling does not work, the rattlesnake will strike at the person or thing that is a threat to its safety. Imprinting and conditioning. Now let's talk about learned behavior. Did you know that when babies are in their mother's womb, they can actually hear their mother's voice? Then, when the baby is born, he or she automatically recognizes their mother's voice. This is a type of imprinting. It's a learned behavior. Imprinting occurs when an animal forms a social attachment to another organism during a specific period following birth or hatching. During this time, animals generally learn the smell of their home, the taste of the food that they need, and other survival smells and behaviors. This occurs early in life because it is when animals are absorbing the most amount of information that they will carry with them for the rest of their lives. Imprinted behaviors are fairly permanent and are extremely difficult, if not impossible, to change. The most famous type is known as filial imprinting. This is the term used to describe the fact that many animals form an instant attachment to the first moving object that they see and immediately assume that that object is its mother. Another type of learned behavior is conditioning. Conditioning occurs when the response to a stimulus becomes associated with another stimulus. Conditioning involves the ability of one animal to associate one stimulus with another. Have you ever trained a new puppy? Most owners condition their dogs to sit, speak, or perform a certain trick on command. They then reward their animal every time the dog performs favorably. The dog is then conditioned to learn that when he follows his owner's command, he gets a treat. Aggression, courtship, and social behavior. All animals are born with the desire to protect their young and their property. And if a predator or other animal threatens their possessions or makes them feel as if they will be attacked, they respond with aggression. Aggression is a forceful behavior, such as fighting, used by an animal to control or dominate another animal in order to protect their young, defend territory, or get food. Animals need this type of behavior in order to survive in their world they must somehow find food and defend themselves. Aggressive behavior is most prominent between a predator and its prey. If the predator either wants to eat the adult or the young animal, the adult will behave aggressively to ensure that neither themselves or their child become the predator's dinner. To protect oneself and one's young is a necessary step in order to survive in the animal kingdom. Another important animal behavior is to locate and mate with a member of the same species so that the species can continue to flourish. This is known as courtship behavior. Courtship behavior is behavior that allows males and females of the same species to recognize each other and prepare to mate. Animals use a variety of sounds or movements to signal potential mates. Frogs and whales are known to make mating calls. Male peacocks spread their colorful plumage. While some giraffes perform a ritual dance. Courtship behavior is consistent among the male and female members of the same species so that they are able to recognize each other and only mate with others of their kind. behavior that involves contact between members of the same species, including courtship behavior, is known as social behavior. Social behavior is interactions among members of the same species, including courtship and mating, getting food, 
caring for young and protecting each other. Social behavior involves any type of communication between members of the same species. Courtship, mating, and protecting one another are all types of social behavior. It is commonly observed that animals of the same species that interact with each other the most tend to be organized into a society. Just as humans live in a society, so do animals. Society is a group of animals of the same species that live and work together in an organized way, with each member doing a specific job. Bees, for example, live in a complex society in which different bees have specific roles, such as defending the home, defending their queen, or gathering food. Have you ever heard the term pecking order? Well, this comes from the fact that chickens that live together have a designated order in their society as to which chickens are the most and least dominant. And all chickens behave and interact according to their spot in the pecking order. These chickens and bees are all working for the betterment of their society. When some animals need to send signals to other members of their society about possible danger or other necessary messages, they often release pheromones. Pheromone is a powerful chemical produced by an animal to influence the behavior of another animal of the same species. Pheromones are essentially scent signals. They are chemicals that animals release through bodily fluids, such as saliva and perspiration, for a specific purpose, often to signal other members of their species that they are ready to mate, that there is food nearby, marking trails, or that there is trouble ahead. Have you ever seen a group of ants swarming around a piece of food? How do they all know that there is food nearby? It is because the ant that found the piece of food releases pheromones to help guide the other ants to the feast. Cyclic behavior, hibernation, and migration. When any of the innate behaviors happens continually among members of the same species, it is known as cyclic behavior. Cyclic behavior is behavior that occurs in repeated patterns. Certain cyclic behaviors are passed on from generation to generation and happen over and over. When winter comes, animals such as types of mice, bats, and bears look for warm places to hibernate or hide out and sleep until winter passes. Hibernation is a cyclic behavioral adaption for winter survival in which an animal's activity is greatly reduced, its body temperature drops, and body processes slow down. During this long, deep sleep, an animal's heart rate slows and internal temperature drops. It is a way for those animals to save their energy and survive until the warmer months come when they can obtain food again. Some animals start to store food so they can eat when they wake, or they begin to eat more to accumulate body fat for their long sleep. They also start to search for the appropriate place for their long sleep. While some animals prepare to hide out during the winter months, other animals choose to migrate. Migration is an instinctive seasonal movement of animals to find food or to reproduce in better conditions. Although most commonly associated with birds, migratory behavior has been found in all major animal groups. Migrating animals may begin to leave their present territory in search of warmer climates, more abundant food supplies, or for mating purposes. Scientists are continually puzzled by how these animals know where to go. Most animals must learn to migrate from their elders, and failure to follow these behaviors can often result in their failure to survive. Animal behavior is fascinating to learn about, and there's still so much to understand. 
Maybe someday, scientists will have answers to many questions as to why animals behave the way they do in the real world.